AWS Lambda allows you to run your own code in the cloud. You can use the programming language you already use and the IDE that you are most familiar with. You can generally use the code that you've already written. The code might need some minor adjustments to make it work with Lambda's programming model, but you won't need to change most of what you've already written. Lambda supports the following languages with managed runtimes. Node.js, Python, Java, .NET with c -sharp and PowerShell, Go and Ruby. Lambda also supports custom runtimes using the Runtime API, which allows you to run any language with Lambda. For example, PHP, Erlang, Elixir, COBOL, Dart, and many others. AWS provides plugins for a number of popular IDEs, including Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, Eclipse, IntelliJ, and PyCharm. You can also create, deploy, and invoke Lambda functions using the AWS CLI and SDKs. The Lambda programming model is common to all of the runtimes. The programming model defines the interface between your code and the Lambda service. When your function runs for the first time, it runs an initialization process which you can use to set up dependencies, configuration, and common helper functions before an invoke. Your function then has an entry point called a handler, and this is the method in your function code that Lambda runs to process events during an invocation. You set the handler location, which is the file and handler function name, as part of your function configuration. When your handler function runs during an invoke, Lambda passes in two objects to the handler, the event object and the context object. The event object contains all of the data and metadata your Lambda function needs to run, depending on which event source created it. For example, an event created by API Gateway contains details related to the request that the API client made, such as the path, query string, and request body. An event created by S3 when a new object is created includes details about the bucket name and the new object. Your code can then use this event object to handle the requests. For example, run some custom logic and respond to the API client, or download the file from S3 to do some processing. The second object passed to the handler is the context object, and this allows your function code to interact with the Lambda execution environment and contains a number of properties and methods. And you can get information including the name and version of the function, the request ID to track specific invocations, the amount of time in milliseconds remaining before a function timeout, and the CloudWatch log stream and group names your log statements are written to. When your function code finishes processing, it sends its response back to the Lambda service and is then available to process another invoke.